How's it going, my friends? This is Anakis, and today I'm doing a review for Transformers Kingdom Core Class Megatron. You can see the artwork on the front and the figure in both modes on the back. I've had him for a. I don't know, whenever he got first got released, I found him like right off the bat. But I never ended up doing the review for him. So I figured, hey, we just get it to him. I'm trying to try to get that pile back there out of here. But, uh, it's trying to look like a warehouse around here. But, let's go ahead and get on to it. So, we have Megatron out of the package, and he looks really nice. See the detail on his chest and the stomach plate. Details on his forearms, treads on his legs. Really nice face sculpt. We seen a little bit of light piping though, but it is what it is. Except on symbol on the chest. It looks really good. He's got a ball joint in the upper shoulder. And he can rotate 360. And a ball joint in the elbow. This hand can rotate. Or this one does not. There's fusion cannon on the side. Unfortunately, it does not come off. That's fine. So you can kick up that far and kick back that far. His waist backward, his lower half backward. That's not good. He's got a knee bend. Nothing really in the feet. See better on the legs. The minor mistake. Look at this gun. And for some reason, it just does remind me of the original figures, gun mode, the scope, and the barrel, and everything. I'm pretty sure. Excuse me. I'm pretty sure they probably did that on purpose. But, let's see, we got it off. way I'm doing that for the transformation of course you know bring the backpack up disconnect the shoulders bring them up now, rotate the hand here that was all the way around Unhinged leg. Rotate. Not rotate, but bring that all the way back like that. It's also rotate the waist. There's a peg right there. And then this side has the pegs here. Here, and you 
hook on right on the side there. And after you rotate the other forearm and flatten out the shoulders, the peg that goes right there. Rotate that. Actually, I want to show that off. There's the pegs, there's the holes right there. You connect to those pegs right there. that you just plug that in right there and you have this neat little tank mode let's turn you know go up and down uh, 360 I like the, I don't want to say sleekness of the, the tank mode, but it works pretty well with just like the gray up here and the black in the sides, silver on the treads. It looks good. It's a nice little figure with a nice vehicle mode definitely worth picking up there's unfortunately there's no wheels so it's kind of slides right across Is what it is, but uh, you get to the robot back to robot mode, and you're my final thoughts. So, we have Megatron back in his robot mode, and I gotta say, this is a really great figure. Uh, definitely worth getting, definite 10 out of 10. That's just the thing with the Kingdom and the Studio Series figures lately. They've been on point. They're just killing it. And they're really impressive. They're really good. A lot of people are calling them more recent figures mini masterpieces. Which. I can understand for the larger scale figures, but still, the smaller legend scale figures are really good. Definitely a step up from how they used to be almost like 10 years ago. But if you see this in the store, definitely pick them up. Uh, you won't be disappointed. It's a great figure. Honestly, I think this would have worked as a an upscale deluxe or Voyager class almost. At least this mold. I'm sure, we will probably see some uh, third party upscale knockoff version of this. But, as I said, if you're in the stores, pick them up. Definitely worth it. Anyway. If you like this video, like this figure, give me a thumbs up down below. Like, share, subscribe, whack the bell for notifications. And just remember, Q 
keep hitting those toy aisles, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.